our lab scenario is same as of uh, last lab i'll quickly run through it uh, basically uh, again the same we have internet uh, router on which our site one palo alto firewall is connected which is connected to site one router and there is one site one pc this is the lan network for the site one and in turn it is connected to uh, site one pc here we have an internet pc connected to internet network so basically in this case our traffic flow will be like you know from site one pc it will come to router then it will come to palo alto firewall and as this is the upload traffic that we are going to control this time we are going to apply qos on egress interface of palo alto firewall so uh, let's start with the configuration for uh, how we can control upload traffic so to start with let's first look at the qs policy uh, in this case again we'll be using the same qs policy wherein uh, the traffic will be coming from the source zone and it will be hitting outside zone application we are uh, uh, using is uh, uh, MSDS SMB rest all fields are uh, same and the class that we are uh, mentioning here is class 3 okay uh, next what we will do is under QS profile we will uh, we have created this uh, one clear text profile on which we have mentioned that for this particular profile when it when it is applied to uh, interface for controlling upload traffic egress max would be one meg and egress guarantee would be 0.2 then uh, we have uh, took class 3 as uh, while defining the qs policy you observed that for ms ds smb traffic we have mentioned it as a class 3 then on class 3 egress max we are giving is 1 meg and egress guaranteed is 0.2 so this is how like uh, we have created a QS profile for this one next step would be to apply QS profile on to uh, egress interface so in this case our interface would be uh, outside interface so here we have mentioned it like we have a 10 meg uh, bandwidth uh, turning we are turning this feature off clear text uh, profile will be using clear text that we have created as this is the tunnel interface we need to mention it as a default uh, and on clear text egress guaranteed is we are keeping it as uh, uh, we can keep it as 5 and egress max uh, we can keep it 10 that's not a problem then we'll create one profile call it as upload the qs profile that we have earlier created we'll apply that here source interface would be any and the source of would be any nothing on tunnel traffic so that's all the configuration that we need to do before we apply QoS let's quickly first check before applying QoS how much uh, traffic uh, upload uh, speed we are getting so this is one of the PC that I have on site one side and this is on internet side so I'm just uploading this SMB file as you can see I am getting speed of around 2, two meg you can say yeah around uh, 2 meg so let's cancel this now 
and let's check after applying uh, QoS how much speed we are getting so let's validate commit first okay so it's uh, configuration is valid that's cool uh, let's put commit okay commit is completed now let's go to site one pc from site one pc let's try and upload the same file for this earlier we are getting around 1.8 to 2 meg let's see how much we get this now So now, yes, you can see now it is around one, 120 KB. So look like it's working well. Now, as we can see uh, on ETH one slash one, we have created this profile called upload profile. And we can see that it is hitting correct class and the maximum egress bandwidth of one meg that we had configured on profile it is exactly using that and runtime it's it's completely utilizing all that one meg bandwidth so the qs is working fine for the upload traffic in this case application that we have mentioned is using this one no source no destination security rule that we have created internet it's using that and QS rule also called as internet that is getting used the thing that most of the people gets confused is about this clear text traffic as we can see that when we created this profile we mentioned that for this particular class egress max is 1 meg and egress guaranteed is 0.2 right and when we came here on QS interface and uh, you can see that egress max we have mentioned it as 10 meg this is actually this value here uh, we can say it combines the value for clear text and tunnel traffic but if you want to equally distribute traffic amongst both clear text and tunnel you need to make sure that you're entering value here as 00, zero so that you know what are the bandwidth available it will get distributed across both clear text and tunnel traffic so now but in this case what we have did is we have mentioned here as 10 meg here we have mentioned it as 10 meg again max and guaranteed as 5 but on the profile itself we have mentioned it as 1 meg so ultimately it is using this profile value and not the value that is mentioned on this interface okay so yeah we can see that by looking at here you see it's using this one meg value here and not the 10 meg that we have uh, uh, mentioned uh, mentioned uh, there on interfaces so that's all for this today's lab it was a quick one um, if you have any questions you can comment i'll try to answer them Thanks for watching this. You have a great day ahead. Bye.